All right, let's get a quick fiver in. I have five more to do today, but I'm about to head to jujitsu and Muay Thai. I'm gonna run there. I'm taking my big bag this time because it's both classes tonight. What up, Piplo? I keep forgetting I have to make updates for this vlog, but I, this is my bag. It's got a nice little fluorescent vest on it. I got my headlamp and that's all I wanted to say. Two miles there, class, class, two miles back. A test of endurance. Mission accomplished. I'm 5K away from beating my sister in the <coughs> monthly competition. Let's get these last five. Jujitsu was relatively calm today. Muay Thai, similar? But also, I think my cardio is absolutely crushing it. Oh, thank God next week is a rest week. Oh. <coughs> First of all, whoa, shit. I got my trifecta gear, put my t-shirt on today for Muay Thai. I had a rough start to the week. If you watch my dev vlog that will have gone up before this video, uh, you'll you'll get an idea of that. Glasses. Been finding there's a difference between certainty and confidence. It's hard to feel like you're always progressing. And I was reminded today that while I introspect a lot, I don't reflect a lot. I ran to class tonight. It was a no gi jujitsu, so I didn't have my gi with me. I was not out of breath during jujitsu rounds, and it was just my shoulders that got tired and more tired, like usual. But my point is, I did not stop when I was running to class. Didn't stop on the hill. I survived, stretching my legs out. I look ghastly. But it's nice to just remind myself how far I have come. I've been feeling like I'm at a plateau in a lot of ways, uh, development largely, but I just haven't put in the time there. But I, I have come a long way. And I think my plateau ends up being just going through the motions. I don't wanna just go through the motions. I did that for school. I did that for other aspects of my life. I'm not trying to just go through the motions. I want to really, I didn't even drink a full thing of water today. Well, during class, this is, that's a new development. And on the note that I'm trying to learn how to put my heart into effort. That is something I'm working on. And that kind of starts with just why we're doing these things. And I think for me, but I also think in general, that is the most valuable part of physically pushing yourself. It is a tangible form of challenging yourself. My biggest challenge is the fact that I don't want to run. Sometimes my brain wins. Sometimes my brain's like, no, we're gonna just, not go to class tonight. You were tired, you exhausted yourself. Yes, I need rest and that's what next week is for, but you win some, you lose some. I just don't get that same challenge with development and, and work. It's still a challenge, don't get me wrong, it's just not the same thing. While you're running halfway around a lake, you have to get to the end. While you're developing a game, you can just get up and walk away. I fell at the level of my system and it worked. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. I need to shower. I'm running back from Muay Thai and once again, haven't recorded this month. I'm just doing everything late tonight. It's been a good day otherwise. I need to get a 10K in this week, and I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm running with no music right now, which is just different. Work in progress, hopefully. That'll be my goal this month. I have rest this month, I guess. I'll run 21K at some point. Just see what happens. I've been getting up at 5.30 for like five, six days now, and it's nice because I'm, I'm awake. I, no caffeine, for the record. Not until 8.30, or until I do a cold. I wait till 8.30 to get a plus one. But I, I lay down in bed for like five minutes. But I didn't fall asleep, which is really nice. And I'm somehow able to talk myself out of bed, which is fantastic. No, no sleep enough. Lake Union Loop, I did the math yesterday. If I run around it every day this week, plus running to and from it, I can reach my sister on the leaderboard. The thing is I can only barely reach her. I think it's dark out, by the way. It's very rare, but I feel like I'm. And I think what's really helped me this morning is the fact that I woke up. Well, the thing that didn't help is that I woke up and I was like, oh God, I gotta run nine miles, eight miles. It seems like so much distance, man. I think recently my biggest challenge is, is apathy. Mm, apathy is too strong of a word. Well, it's not a recent thing, but you know I'm in bed and it's it's not a it's not an oh I don't want to do this oh I want to stay more comfortable. It's sitting there and convincing myself that <laughs> there's a point to it, which I guess is 
fascinating struggle in its own right. There's some things that I thought would motivate me that I guess haven't motivated me. And I also gotta remember, I don't have any expectations for this run. No pace requirement. I'm, you know, shooting for like a nine minute mile, but if I hit 10, that's okay too. As long as I'm back and getting to work on time. <laughs> like, I will say though, I have enjoyed being up early mornings. I think I, I enjoy having that time to procrastinate. <laughs> Hell yeah. So cool ending this Martin Bridge. One hour, <coughs> 31 minutes, 48 seconds. Oh, it was nine miles, 9.48 miles, I think, as Mwasher said. Gator, Gator Light Zero, about half a glass. The seltzer water. Um, good run though. I'm not gonna lie. I slowed down a couple times. I like walked for, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, like stretching my lower legs out. Ran to my start point all the way around and back. The running back part was rough. I was like, I was tempted to walk and then I started counting to 100 in Japanese for no reason. And then I just kept going because I was like, if I run, I'm gonna get back faster. Similar pain to shin splints when I push and apply pressure, but didn't hurt exactly when I was running like it used to. Last note I want to end on here is just like, if I went back to sleep, I'd probably be waking up around now. <laughs> I don't really know what to make of it. I don't feel a huge sense of accomplishment. I know I'm better off for it. It's the longest run in my life. <clears throat> longest straightforward run I've ever run in my life. Based on how I felt and how everything, 21K easily doable. Well, not easily. Definitely doable. I'm glad I chose the Lake Union Loop because I would not want to be running around Green Lake four times. <laughs> it just does not sound enjoyable. I'm off to the office in about 30 seconds, but um, it's... Tuesday. I did not get up at 5.30 and run this morning. Um, I got up at 5.30 and then I was like, I was sore. Excuses, excuses. I definitely should have stayed up. Got out of bed at eight. I'm okay with having not having run. I don't want to push myself the shins once again, but the goal got me out there yesterday and I want to do those every Friday. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I, I'm going to see how I feel today and try and do that. But I also had chicken and rice last night for dinner at around nine and i think that's probably part of the reason why it was so hard to wake up eating before the day and, and not eating after jujitsu and white tie and stuff that's all maybe we won't complete the quest but uh i got somewhere with it and that's what counts yeah my knees going down the stairs is rough but it's my left knee and i think it's because we did grappling and standing takedowns and jujitsu and i just my left knee hit the ground so much oh well moving will help my left elbow hurts a lot I ran to Jiu Jitsu, uh, it was rather painful. And a while ago, I had shin splint problems and I'm feeling them again. And it's not, that's no surprise. I mean, I'm currently waiting for the bus back. The words of my PT ring true of just, you gotta increase your running incrementally. So I'm glad the leaderboard kind of made me get out on Monday, but I'm not running 10 miles every day this week. I missed today, so in reality, no way I'm getting first. I'll think about it on the bus ride, but I think one long run like that, Friday mornings, or just one morning of the week, pretty much. Friday latest kind of vibe is the best thing going forward. Cause I mean, the race is in what, three weeks. So if I can run 15K, given how that run felt, I know I can run 21K. I'm also just emotionally, I don't know. Maybe it's cause I got up a little later this morning. But anyway, a lot of cars, a lot of thoughts. So instead of running tomorrow, I'm gonna edit this and work on my only 2.0 stuff. So I set a lofty goal and I started it in my mind. I'm gonna give myself a lot of credit for that. That I set a goal and I did it day one and it's day two, three, four, that's not gonna be met. As opposed to doing the last day, which I've done in the past. All right, I'm gonna shut up now. Thanks for watching. If you set a goal, 